Saturday morning, about sort of 11 o'clock I guess, something like that. And I've decided it's such a beautiful morning, rather than going on my turbo trainer, which was the plan, I'm going to go and try and do this uh, Shrewsbury Circular route again, the same one as I did last, uh, not last week, the week before actually now. Um, but uh, I'm going to try and do it a bit faster, because I haven't got as much time. I've only got about like, well, 90 minutes at the most, uh, really, so I'm not going to stop very much. Um, I have got my chest cam on, so what I'm planning to do is basically start filming and um, talk to you a bit, but what's probably going to happen is the camera's going to run out of battery about sort of 20 minutes in, <laughs> so, uh, because it's crap. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll basically film the first 20 minutes this week, and then if it stays nice, um, it stays reasonable weather, I might do the second, uh, basically keep start the camera again where I left off the week before previous so eventually I'll build up the full route and then maybe I can do a time lapse of the route over the time um, so yeah but I'm not going to stop very often to film to the camera uh, to talk to the camera because as I say I want to get uh, this route done fairly quickly and I don't want to use my phone to film while I'm riding in case I drop it um, because I don't want to break this phone uh, because it's going to be traded in soon for my new phone which has been delayed yet again because of the chip shortage but anyway, that's enough about my problems. So I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you enjoyed last week's video, actually. Uh, but yeah, this is the start of week four. Um, hopefully we get some more weight loss in this week and some decent uh, miles on Zwift and on the, on my feet on my feet on the on the, on walks. Walks on the trail, isn't he? <laughs> So the first bit's fairly boring out of my housing estate down into town. I'm not sure the camera will last much longer than that, but hopefully it does. You'll see me ride along the river, which is pretty nice here in Shrewsbury. It was actually my rest day yesterday, but my legs are still feeling a little bit from the Zwift session I did on Thursday night. This is the way down to the river. Oh no. Okay, I'm confused. Oh yeah, there's the path down there. Uh, maybe when I was about 10. <laughs> Beautiful ride along the river, but obviously it's shared footpath, so I've got to be careful. Excuse me. Excuse me. And then you get really inconsiderate people like that who block the whole path to have a chat. I 
hate it when people have dogs on those extendable leads because you don't know if they're locked in place or not and if they run out then you're going to get clothesline basically bit of cobbles and oh, pigeon Morning. Uh, excuse me, coming through on your right. That's right, thank you. Excuse me, look up, thank you. Kids not to look where they're going, but grown men on the phones. Yeah, it's a great little ride that hopefully the camera's still filming. Uh, but if not, I probably won't speak. If it is, rather, I probably won't speak again because I think it will die soon. Uh, and I'll pick up on another ride from wherever it fails. Oh, actually, I can see the light's still on, so you're still going. I forgot I could look at the light. Well, hopefully it'll last till the end of the river ride, till we get out into the country. I don't think the camera angle's gonna be very good. On my chest mount, I need to uh, get an elbow bracket, I think, just to point over a bit more. To be honest, I don't like wearing a chest mount because I've heard a few, I wouldn't say horror stories, but stories of people getting more injured falling off their bike because they had a chest mount on, like cracked a few ribs or something like that, than if they hadn't. But then I don't think there's a particularly ideal solution because uh, because a top helmet mount like I've got is also, you know, if you fall off it uh, reduces the effectiveness of your helmet, you know, because if, if it gets caught in the road as you're maybe sliding along it could really hurt, really do damage. So, yeah, probably like a. I don't know. I have to think of something. I don't want to do a help handlebar mount. I do have a handlebar mount, but because this camera doesn't have any stabilisation built in, the footage is unwatchable. At least with it being on my body, my body is a natural suspension for it. But I've been hovering over the buy button on a new GoPro for a while. I might wait a couple more months, save a bit more money. But hopefully, you know, before the end of the year, definitely. If this channel's still going then. So I've come this way because there is a route down by the river. But it's very narrow. It is. You can take bikes. You know, bikes are allowed along it. But uh, you know, if you did meet somebody coming the other way, you basically have to stop. And it's so narrow. So I come this way because it's a bit flow, more flowing. It's just not not as interesting. Yeah, it's that path to the right basically. But here I go under the main road and back up and join one of the national cycleways. This bit bump is always tougher than I think, and I'm never in the right gear, so I'm going to make sure I'm changed down nice and early. <sighs> I 
Excuse me. Thank you. Not there. Yeah, no worries, I'll, I'll dodge it. <laughs> if it dodges me. <sighs> Why can't young people today buy headphones? Yes, I'm a miserable old git. Yeah, I considered getting a bell. I know it's probably the right thing to do, but if I'm walking, I really hate hearing a bell, an insistent bell. I'd rather just hear somebody politely say, excuse me. But I realize it's probably harder to hear than a bell. So I don't know, maybe I could do both. I think I do have a bell. I think this bike did technically come with a bell. I think, look, in the UK, it's law that bikes have to be sold with a bell and lights, actually. I can't remember, though, because I think they basically just get... They didn't give me lights because I said I didn't need them because I got loads. So I think they just gave me, a, like, a 20 quid voucher to spend in the shop. Oh, so it may not have come with a bell either. I'm finding this harder than I did the other week. Maybe because I just got a bit more effort in my legs from the FTP test and the Thursday night's longer Zwift ride. I mean, I'm never going to go very fast on this surface. It's fairly compacted, but you can tell after we've had a bit of rain this week compared to the week before. It's starting to get a little bit softer in places, certainly under the trees where it hasn't had a chance to dry in the sun. So I'm not sure how much longer I'll be able to do this route without putting my, my proper gravel tyres on, which I do plan to do for the winter, and get them changed to tubeless. Because the reason I took them off, the reason I took them off was because I was getting so many punctures in them which, when you're a takeaway delivery driver like I was, briefly last summer, for a couple of weeks, getting a puncture when you're in the middle of a delivery is not great. So this bit is asphalt, so actually this one should be all right, apart from the old puddle. Plenty of people out on their bikes this morning. Don't blame them at all. I mean, I'm one of them. Right, and that's the end of uh, the end of the river route and the canal towpath. Well, not canal towpath. Basically, just the route of the old canal, which is no longer there. Hey everyone, just finished the first big-ish climb on this ride. It's not really much compared to, I'm sure, what some people do, but uh, it's a bit of a challenge for me. It's okay in this bike though, because it's got pretty nice climbing cassette on it. Uh, so yeah, stop for a drink because I've got my water bottle in my back uh, on the seat post mount. And I really, uh, I'm too fat basically, honestly too fat to reach it while I'm riding safely, so I have to stop. It's a problem with having this, uh, I don't know if you can see it, this sort of uh, frame bag on, which I probably don't need, but you know, it's nice to have to be able to bring some extra stuff, especially when I'm filming, like, uh, but, but yeah, so I'm going to drink, I'm going to press on. I'm probably not going to do the full route today actually, because I'm a bit behind where I thought I would be. Uh, after sort of like 35 minutes, 
still I still got probably three quarters of the route to do and I really should be back by half twelve uh, so so yeah I might sort of head back into Shrewsbury at Attingham Park maybe do Attingham Park the right way around this time just to add a, a little, maybe an extra mile on my route uh, but yeah so I probably won't film again but I'll speak to you at the end and tell you how many miles I did looks like I maybe got home just in time I think there's some black clouds starting to bubble up which means it's probably going to rain this is Shropshire after all hopefully it means I'll less, I feel a bit less guilty about going to the cinema this afternoon uh, and then sitting sitting in the dark for two and a half hours or whatever it's going to be but yeah that was a pretty good ride uh, I didn't do the full uh, route I did last time because I, did, I was starting to run out of time I really need to be back home at sort of half twelve or before half twelve ready to go to go out um, and there's no way I would have done it I've done the whole thing because it, it gets a little bit hilly towards the second half so you know it's where I came off last time basically um, so yeah so still I think I did what I did I think I did faster with the exception of like the bit along the river which was probably busier than it was last week because uh, I did it during the week last time, this week and obviously this time it's a weekend so there's quite a lot of people out walking and, and on the bikes to be fair so I had to slow down quite a bit but I think somebody's been spreading manure in their garden because it really smells out here either that or there's a problem with the drains, anyway but yeah so uh, sorry about the uh, the janky film in my uh, my arms are quite tired from holding my bulk up on my handlebars but so yeah, I'm pretty pleased I went out though, um, but that was basically just to burn off the takeaway we had last night, <laughs> so uh, I don't think it's made that much of a dent into my weight, but, uh, but hopefully improving my fitness. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do tomorrow, it depends what the weather's doing I guess, uh, but I'm going to do something so I'll speak to you then. <laughs> Here we are at Cine World. I'm gonna sit in the dark for two hours. But I love the cinema, so that should be fun. Hey folks, so after the disaster with my chain snapping on this swift session uh, I was doing, it's about half an hour later. I'm still fairly warmed up, so I thought I'd try a run. My hip's not too bad after the last couple of weeks resting it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start a run, but um, I'm going to scrap what I was doing before, which was when I was trying to run as far as I could, because I think that was probably um, what knackered me hip, so I'm going to go back to the, the traditional couch to 5k, week one. So yeah, I'll talk to you after the first run. First run down, I always find the first one quite hard, because my legs aren't quite warmed up yet. But 90 seconds recovery. And then another one. I'll probably speak to you on my cool down. See you then. It's the BMX track I rode in week two, I think it was. I'll do that again sometime, maybe during the day. I wish I had a mountain bike to do it properly. So, I think I've just done five runs over halfway. I've been having trouble with my music. My phone suddenly decided to spill it my music through Alexa in the house, so my wife's probably going, what the hell is going on? Why is it playing shite music? I finally got it back to my headphones. I didn't miss a run, but I had to like, run with my hands, run with my hands full of stuff. I realise I'm always complaining about my technology on this blog, uh, blog, but it is going to get better, I promise. Oh, soon I hope.
Okay, on to my cool down. I'm huffing and puffing a bit, but actually I found that relatively easy. It's tempting to move straight on to week two from here after just one run. Excuse me. It's tempting to move straight on to week two from here after just one run. But, and I've done that before up to week three, but I think this time, I say I'm heavier than I've ever been. I think this time I'm just going to carry on. Week one, twice to go, twice more, and hopefully week two will be a veritable doddle. Anyway, that's all for me today. Uh, I'll catch you tomorrow. We'll be back at work tomorrow, so probably a Zwift session if I manage to get to a bike shop to get a new chain. Hopefully I will. See you then. The other thing I should say before I go, I'm back to filming uh, a little bit on my Chinese action camera, my Qmox. Uh, I know the, the quality's not great, but my wife heard me complaining about it on my vlog, she's been watching them, and uh, she bought me a couple of new batteries for it. So not only are they bigger, like, better rated than the one that came with it, they're also not like seven years old. So they're gonna hopefully gonna last a couple of hours, as opposed to about 20 minutes. I mean, even when it was new, this, the battery that I got with it only lasted about sort of 50 minutes. So, so yeah, I'm going to do a bit more filming with this, including redoing the bike route I did earlier in the week on Saturday, actually, uh, with a better camera angle. But I won't do that this week. I'll save that for another week. Maybe if we get another nice weekend uh, in the next couple of weeks, I'll do that again. And I'll be able to film more of it with a better camera angle. But anyway, yeah, this is that. that's all from me for today. Tomorrow, as I say, back at work. But I'm going to try and cycle to a local bike shop and pick up a new chain for my bike and a couple of speed links, fix that, and try and do a Zwift session when I finish work tomorrow. So I'll, uh, I'll catch you then. Right, but try not to get one over. Do you mind? I'll be road shot, you probably can't see it. Okay, catch you later. <laughs>
uh, whatever's next on my whatever's next on my beginner FTP workout and see how that goes. I found that I found last night's quite quite easy apart from the pain, but uh, I have got some um, you know what you call it. Uh, but, uh, cyclist butter or whatever it's called, chamois cream, that's the word I was looking for, chamois cream, coming from Amazon tomorrow, so hopefully that will improve things a bit, you never know. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm looking forward to, I'm actually, I'm happy to say I'm actually looking forward to my Zwift session, which is uh, pretty good. Uh, this week I'm feeling pretty good, uh, I've been eating pretty well, and I feel like I've lost a bit of weight. It's probably going to be the week where I don't lose any weight, <laughs> no, I've said that, but you know, positive thinking. Anyway, I'll uh, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Yo yo yo. Yeah, sorry about that. I'm experimenting with different openings for my vlog story. That's not a, that's not a sticker. That's not a, that's not a keeper. <laughs> uh, but I'm getting a bit sick of saying hello everyone. So um, hello everyone. Uh, yeah, we're out for a little walk and then lunchtime. Just been up to uh, get a sandwich from uh, the local <coughs> Craig's, and um, yeah, so we're just sat by a pond waiting for the uh, ducks to come and eat want to eat our sandwich, but. It seems like none of them want to partake, which is not, which is just not fair, really, is it? Should have brought my parrot, and then she could have learned to talk like a duck. Um, a dog has just gone down there, and he's gone for a swim. So we're definitely not going to get any ducks now. He's having a, he's, he's living his best life. He's just think it's he thinks it's a giant water ball, apparently. Anyway, yeah, so that's about it for me today. Um probably back on tomorrow, back on the bike on Zwift tomorrow. I know actually it's Wayne Day tomorrow, so I'll catch you in the morning for Wayne Day. Uh, and that'll actually be the end of the weekly vlog and then obviously my Zwift session will be uh start of next week's vlog. Uh, so yeah, catch you then. Hey everyone. Uh, just got back from another one of these um, men walking and talking uh, Shrewsbury walks, which was again good fun. A uh, good bunch of guys, uh, met a couple of new people, uh, one a trainee detective, which was fascinating. Another guy who works on the railways, really, really good guys to talk to. Um, there was also a guy there from uh, BBC Shropshire Radio uh, interviewing a few people. Thankfully, I didn't get chosen to be interviewed, but. Uh, be interesting to see uh, or to hear when that comes on uh, the radio. I have to keep an eye out or an ear out even. Uh, a bit sweaty because I just cycled back. It's about sort of two miles to the start from here. So uh, the other thing I've noticed is my new phone finally arrived, which is what I'm. This is the first video I'm filming on it. It's not probably the fairest of tests because it's dark and I've just got my garage light as as lighting, but it's. Uh, 4K 60 hertz, uh, 4K 60 frames per second. So we'll see what that looks like. Um, I can't say I'm going to do a huge amount of filming with this. Probably a bit of, um, you know, looking down the lens vlogging. But you know, I think it's a uh, it's an expensive piece of kit to be like strapping to the front of my bike or something like that. But uh, you know, hopefully this uh, will be the start of further improvements to the quality of my vlogs. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you for. Oh god, dreaded Wayne Day tomorrow. See how that goes. I don't know. I, I feel like it might go okay, but you never can tell, can you? Alright, see you tomorrow. Hey everyone. It's still week four. Technically, well, it's Friday morning. I haven't done my weighing yet. I'm out for a cheeky pre weighing run, which feels a little cheaty. But. Well, because I'll probably lose like half a litre of water in sweat, which is a killer, you know, half a killer. But you know, it'll all balance it out over, it'll all even out over the long term. But the reason I'm doing it is because I want to keep my Couch to Five walk here, week start and ends in time with 
uh, my you know my vlog week start and ends so I wanted to get we run three of week one done before my weigh-in uh, so yeah I've done five of the eight run intervals about to do another one uh, and I'll talk to you at the end I just got a clap and a well done from a obviously far fitter runner than I am uh, which was nice to see Shimmer didn't have my camera on for that but yeah that was nice uh, well I've got one more run to do and then I'll talk to you talk to you on my warm down see you then Okay, that's the uh, running done. That's basically week one done. Uh, yeah, today was actually pretty good. I didn't find it too uh, hard in terms of exhaustion, uh, but I've got a bit of a sore back, which I can only really attribute to the uh, Swift session the other night when uh, it made it, well, not made, but uh, one of the intervals got me to go on the drops and I was, I felt my back stretch a little bit then. And it was a little achy yesterday, but nowhere near as bad as this. But it's uh, it's been all right because it's it's been like it's not, the pain's not excruciating or anything, and it only really hurts for the first what, five or ten steps of each run interval, and after that it kind of settles down, and I don't really notice it. So, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Week one done. Uh, just a cool down to finish, which. To be honest, if I can't finish that, I might as well give up now. Uh, so I'm going to go home, drink a glass of water to replace the uh, the sweat that I've just sweated out to try and make it a little bit more of a fair, fair win. Uh, go have a shower, obviously, and then I'll speak to you just before the weigh-in. Uh, fingers crossed. <laughs> moment of truth, the end of week four of uh, Fat Ladder, trying to become Fit Ladder and it's weighing time. Um, I think I think I've lost weight this week, maybe a pound, maybe a pound and a half, something like that. Uh, I've done quite a lot of swifting, uh, some pretty decent sessions as well. I've uh, done obviously my three couch to 5k week one runs and a bit of walking as well and my diet has been um, relatively good I think. Um, probably more consistent like the week before I had a really shitty weekend in terms of my diet and then I was really good for the rest of the week whereas this week it's probably been a little bit more consistent um, so yeah so uh, let's see how it goes um, yeah I'm hoping for a pound I'm hoping for a pound I'm, hope, I'm hoping for at least a pound put it that way uh, anyway so I'm going to put this phone down I'm going to step on the scales and I'll speak to you afterwards uh, uh, last week's weight rather um, so these, these the scales are in uh, stones and pounds. So last week's weight was uh, 18 stone, 6.6 .6 pounds. So, uh, you know, that's what I'm trying to beat. And I'll speak to you afterwards when I've got dressed and everything. Well, what can I say? I'll speak to you in a bit and uh, let's uh, digest. Um, yeah, let's digest what, what that means. Uh, speak to you later. Hey everyone, it's Fat Lad Ad here coming to you at the end of week four, which has been a pretty 
damn good week for me, actually, if I do say so myself. I've managed to lose quite a lot of weight, or more weight than I was expecting anyway. I've done quite a lot of exercise. I feel fitter. I feel happier. And yeah, I'm looking really looking forward to how this thing goes. I mean, okay, not many people are watching the videos, but it wasn't. it's never been about that. It's about a record for me of what's happening and if somebody else is interested then I'll be all all you know all the better uh but yeah um anyway I started creating a, a dashboard for my progress in uh, Power BI Microsoft Power BI uh, I'm a data guy basically so I like to uh, drill down into the data um it's only basic at the moment but uh it can show quite clearly uh, my weight loss progress in kilograms. Uh, so I'm going to work mostly in kilograms going forward. Uh, it, it, the scales I'm using are a bit weird in that they measure in kilos, measuring kilograms, but you can change the display unit on the screen. Uh, and we've currently got them set to stones and pounds, which is what my wife prefers. And their her scales, she uses them as well so and it's you've got it, it it's quite fiddly to change them just for one way way in so basically i'm going to continue to show the scales in stones and pounds at least for the moment <clears throat> but my dashboard is going to work in kilos uh next week i might look at seeing how see if i can make it show pounds as well uh, I think it's going to be difficult to show stones and like stones and pounds because they're sort of a weird unit. But I think I'll be able to show pounds at least, so the the weight loss total will look sensible in terms of pounds. Uh, so yeah, so uh, last week, this time last week, I weighed 117.4 kilos, uh, which uh, is 18 stones, 6.6 .6 pounds, which is heavy or 258.6 pounds uh, and then this morning I weighed myself and I weighed 115.8 kilos so that's you know a loss of just over one and a half kilos which I'm pretty happy with or a, th a 3.1 pounds um, so yeah so that brings my total weight loss for the season to uh, about I think it's about 10 pounds yeah because I was uh, I was uh, 19 stone one at the start, at the very start, and I'm 18 stone three basically now. So I'm I'm two pounds off losing. I'm two pounds off losing a stone. So next week, uh, I know I've got a pretty uh, next. Basically next week, uh, it's going to be the same kind of thing. I'm I'm at work again, so I'm going to do lots of Swiss sessions. Uh, at least two Swift sessions, maybe three. I'm going to do week two of Couch to 5K. I'm going to eat pretty sensibly all the way up to Friday. Uh, we had a takeaway tonight, uh, which is our usual sort of Friday night takeaway. We've got some friends coming to stay tomorrow. Um, so that that could be a bit of a... There's probably going to be some alcohol involved and... Um, probably a little bit more of a slap up supper as well so it's not going to be great this weekend but uh next week i'm going to work really hard because what i want to happen is by next friday is to have lost a stone um you know get down to 18 18.1 18, 18 stone one pounds or less uh and because then i'm going away camping with some friends who i haven't seen in a year and that would mean i am lighter than i was last time they saw me only a little bit but just you know that would make me feel better because at the moment I'm about what I'm about now what I was when I saw them last summer so if I can be lighter then that would be great and um, it'll mean that they you know they never saw me at my heaviest anyway so that's the end of this week's uh, vlog I hope you if you have stayed at the end thank you for staying at the end and uh, I'll see you on the flip side of the weekend next week cheers bye bye